Hello everyone, it's Thursday, it's me, and um, I'm tired, and so for this week, I'm just going to be doing a story time, because I think that's easy, and I love telling stories. So the story I want to tell is my favorite story to tell. All my friends have heard it at least three times, um, just because I think it's funny. Um, and this would be the story of me breaking my knee. Now, it all started in sixth grade. I was 11, I think. Um, and I was in gym class. Now, I didn't want to be in gym class, but I didn't have a choice. I couldn't take any other class. Anyways, so I was at gym class. We were going to be playing netball that day. And I don't remember how to play netball. All I remember is that we were trying to pick out jerseys and which jersey you would get would be like, I don't know, whatever part you were playing. And I wanted to get like a really good part. So right after the gym teacher started, like finished saying all the instructions, I started running over to the, the you know, the pile of jerseys like all the other kids were. And I was trying to get a good one um, before all the good ones were, were gone. And this is when it all went wrong, apparently. Um, I was running, I was running this way to get to the jerseys over here. Another girl was running this way to get to the jerseys over here. And I managed to trip over her or something, or I was trying to run around her. I don't remember. I, anyways, that was a while ago. And so I tripped, and I don't remember what happened after that, but I remember I was on the ground, and I was just, like, stunned. Um, and I remember some people, like, leaning over me, being like, Josie, are you okay? And um, I was like, huh? <laughs> and um, I remember one, one girl was like, I'm going to go get the gym teacher. And so she went and got the gym teacher and the gym teacher and this um, this other person helped me help me get up and they sat me down over by those this giant um, padding things I don't know you know the sides of the gym they have those giant pads anyways so I was sitting over there I was like wow that was so embarrassing like I was the only thing I was thinking about was like how embarrassing that was that I just tripped in front of everybody um, and the gym teacher was like, yeah, we've called the nurse. Don't worry. And I was like, why'd you call the nurse? Like, I'm fine. Um, my knee was kind of feeling weird, but I didn't think I had done anything to it. Um, and it didn't hurt or anything. So I was like, I'm fine. Like, I'm just embarrassed. And the nurse comes in wheeling a wheelchair. And I was like, I don't need a wheelchair. Like, don't make me more embarrassed than I already am. Like, I don't need a wheelchair for this. And I, I tried telling her that. I was like, oh, I don't need I don't need the wheelchair. And she's like, honey, get in the wheelchair. And I was like, okay. So I went and sat in the wheelchair. And that was even more embarrassing as she rolled me past the locker rooms. And all the girls were like looking over at me like, oh, my gosh, Josie's in wheelchair, you know. Um, and so she wheeled me up to the nurse's office. And, um, and she was asking me all these questions. She's like, what's your pain level? Like on a scale of one to 10. And I was actually doing fine. So I said like a three. And she was, you know, just still asking me questions. And she was like, I'm going to call your mom. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I just want this to be over us. And so she called my mom, but my mom was at work. So she didn't pick up. Uh, she called my dad. My dad was also at work. So he didn't pick up. And so she was like, okay, we're just going to wait a little bit and see if any of your, if your parents answer, um, or anything like that. And I was like, okay. So I was sitting there waiting. Um, and at this time my knee was definitely getting a lot more swollen. Um, and it was also bright red. And I was like, hmm, that's so funny. I must've sprained my knee or something, even though it really didn't hurt that much. It was just, it was just like throbbing, um, because there was like a lot of blood going to it, but it, it didn't hurt. And so I was like, ha this is so ridiculous that I just sprained my knee or something. Um, and I remember this girl came in and 
she had like twisted her ankle. She wasn't limping or anything. So I don't know. I don't know. She just twisted her ankle. I don't know. And she, the nurse started answering, um, asking her questions. And same questions she asked me, like, what's your pain level on a scale of one to 10? And she goes, a seven. Mind you, she's walking. She walked to the nurse's, nurse's office and walked out. And she had a pain level of a seven. Well, I was sitting in a wheelchair with my knee like all red and swollen. And I said that mine was a three. I don't know. That just was funny to me. Anyways, so the nurse couldn't get a hold of my parents. So instead, she called the like next contact on the list, which was my friend's mom. And so she came and picked me up. And I remember as I was getting in her car... I don't know what I did. I think I like accidentally put some weight on it or something on my bad knee. And like, a, like a, I finally felt pain then. And I was like, ah, and it, it like very much hurt. And I was like, okay, great. And, but it was still wasn't that bad. Like after that, like after I took the weight off of it, it was fine. So I was like, hmm, this is so weird. And she was like, the friend's mom, she was like, I'm going to take you to urgent care. And I was like, okay. And my mom finally picks up the phone. Um, she's talking to the friend's mom. And she was like, oh, it's okay. You can just, my mom. Okay, so my mom didn't know how bad it was. My mom was like, oh, it's okay. Just take her home. Like, don't take her to urgent care. It's fine. It's whatever. And the friend's mom was like, no, I'm going to take her to urgent care. Um, and I remember my uh, the friend's mom handed the phone to me. And I was calling, I had my mom on the phone. And, um, uh, and I don't know why, I think I was just, like, alarmed that I had to be taken to urgent care, or, like, you know, I was getting taken out of school, um, but as soon as I heard my mom's voice, I just started crying, because I was scared, um, um, it, but my mom thought I was crying because it hurt so bad, and so my mom was very alarmed at that point, um, so she met us at urgent care, and she saw my knee, which was like that big, and it really, it really did not look good. Anyways, so my mom was freaking out. You know, we were at urgent care at all. Um, but that, yeah, we waited there for like an hour to see a doctor, and then we got back there, and they wanted to X-ray me. And I was like, you know, cool, whatever. Um, I still wasn't really in a lot of pain. Like, it was kind of like a dull ache, kind of like a bruise almost. And it was still kind of throbbing. But, you know, I was just like, man, I must have, like, sprained my knee or something because it's really swollen and red. <sighs> Anyways, so um, I was back there. They wanted to take an x-ray. And one of the x-rays they wanted to take was me laying flat with my knee flat on the table. And... I didn't know this at the time, but with the break that I had in my knee, um, a bit of bone was blocking my knee from straightening. I couldn't straighten my leg past a 90 degree angle. I did not know that. Um, my knee was not, I had never tried yet to straighten my knee, so I did not know that I could not do it. And so she was like, I need you to straighten your knee. And I was like, oh, okay, because I don't know. And I tried to straighten it and it like wouldn't move. Like my leg was so tense, it would not move. She was like, honey, you need to like relax your knee. And she started putting like pillows under my knee and stuff. And and she was like, honey, you need to relax. You gotta relax your knee, we gotta take this x-ray. And I was like, I'm trying, like my knee, like my, my brain knew before, like I knew that, um, that I could not, I could absolutely not straighten my knee. And um, so, I like finally was able to relax my muscles and my knee like kind of like and I when I tell you that hurts so bad I just started screaming and that poor x-ray technician lady she she was so scared because <laughs> she didn't know she didn't know what was wrong either and so I just started screaming and she like ran back and pressed the button for the x-ray um uh to get that picture <laughs> And uh, I remember they sent me home from from urgent care with a little stuffed teddy bear because I felt so bad about about <laughs> about that. 
Um, but they didn't give me any answers because apparently they don't do that or something. I don't know. The doctor was like, I'm not qualified for this. You need to go see like a real like doctor or whatever. So we were like, okay, thanks. And so the next day we met with not a doctor, but a PA and you know, it's whatever. We couldn't get the doctor because it was like very short notice. So we met with the PA and um, he was super nice and all, and he was looking at my knee, and he looked at the x-rays, he pulled them up and showed it to us, and he was like, I'm looking at these x-rays, like, there's nothing to see here, I think that it's just a really bad sprain, and um, I'm just gonna send you guys home and just ice it and stay off of it for a while. And we were like, that's kind of crazy that it looks this bad, and I can't straighten my knee, and it's only a sprain. Anyways, so it was like an hour to that doctor's office. So we drove all the way, like an hour home. And um, we, as soon as we walk in the door, we get a call from the doctor's office. And it's the same guy, the same PA. He calls us, he's like, I'm so sorry. I was looking at the wrong x-ray. Like I was looking at the x-ray of your good knee. Like your knee is definitely broken. You need to come in right now so we can get a splint on your leg. And I was like, so we drove an hour back and he put a splint on my knee to keep it at an angle so it wouldn't straighten and hurt myself. Um, and he scheduled an emergency surgery in like three days. And so I was just sitting at home for a few days with a splint on my leg. You know, I couldn't really walk. So I was just kind of hobbling around the house. Um, and so day of the surgery comes, I wasn't nervous at all. Um, I thought it was kind of, I thought it was kind of fun, you know, like being in the hospital and all that. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't nervous at all. I don't know why. Um, I was, I was really excited. And so they, um, they gave me like the, they gave me this disgusting liquid to drink. And it was, it was like a relaxer before the anesthesia. I don't know why they needed that. Like, I, I wasn't anxious anyways, so anyways, it tasted so bad, and then they wheeled me back and gave me the IV. They put it in my hand for the anesthesia, and um, <sighs> um, so that was really fun. I don't, obviously, I don't remember anything past that, um, and so I woke up, and I felt awful. I felt so bad. It was disgusting. I hate anesthesia. I do not have a very good reaction to it. So I was feeling really nauseous, just in general, very icky. And um, you know how it is. And so, um, but I did, I did have a really cool pink sparkly cast on my leg. And it was a full leg cast from like, you know, the top of my, the top of my thigh, you know, like where my, where my torso meets my leg and to my ankle. And it was straight. So they had fixed my knee. They had, you know, they had put screws in my, in the broken bone and they had given me a straight leg cast for it to heal. And so that was super fun. Um, and I went home and I was still feeling really awful. Um, and it's actually really hard to go to the bathroom when you have a straight leg cast. But I had to pee like every 15 to 20 minutes because they had pumped me so full of fluids. Oh, it was not, it was not a good time. Anyways, fast forward to like going to school. Um, I had healed enough to go to school. Um, I was... Um, in a wheelchair though, not on crutches. I could have gone on crutches. I did a few days for school, but crutches were really hard to use um, with a straight leg cast because instead of just like bending your knee like you would with crutches to keep one leg off the ground, I had to stick my leg like in front of me and hobble around like that. And it just, it wasn't great. Um, so we rented a wheelchair just because it was so much easier to get around with. 
Um, but that attracted a lot of attention. Um, and everybody wanted to sign my cast. And people I had never met before were coming up to be like, oh my God, I want to sign your cast. I want to sign your cast. And I couldn't say no to anyone. So I had so many strangers like writing all over me. Uh, and I had to wear that for like a month and a half. Anyways, it was fun. Um, so fast forward some more. I get my cast off. That was really scary. Um, I did not want the cast to come off because that was the only kind of stability I had in my knee. Um, but, you know, it was fine. They gave me a, a brace um, and it had like a lock on the knee so I could lock my knee straight or I could lock it like at 90 degree angle. Um, and I started going to physical therapy, which was all good and fun and all that stuff. Um, and so I was at physical therapy. I had to like learn to walk again because all my muscles had like atrophied. Like it was so weird to look at. One leg was like that big and the other leg was like that big. It was just, it was so gross. Um, so I had to like build up all my muscles again and my quad muscle had fallen asleep as they explained it to me. And so I couldn't, like they kept putting like electrodes, like electrical stimulus on my on my muscles to try to wake them up and it didn't work. And so I couldn't walk for a while because my quad muscle like was not awake. Um, so anyways, I was going through all this with physical therapy and um, I'm finally starting to learn to like walk again. I'm just getting the hang of it. Um, I'm supposed to be walking with my brace for like just a few little bits a day. Um, and I remember I'm walking down the stairs of my house and I trip on the very last step. And I manage to sprain my ankle on the same leg. So I can't walk anymore. <laughs> I can't walk anymore for like another week because I just sprained my ankle on the same leg that I had, you know, just healed the broken bone. So that was really not fun at all. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's the majority of the story. I still have the, the scarring. I have four scars from it, from the incision points, um, which is fun. Um, I'm glad it happened when I was like a kid though, cause it's so, it's fully healed. I, it does not bother me at all. Um, and I know that would not happen if I were to break my bone like that now. But yeah, that is my, that is my story. Um, and I guess now I can answer, if you've even watched this far, I know this video is long. Um, but I will answer Emma's question. It was, if you're going to watch the Super Bowl, what are you going to do for it? Who are you rooting for? Um, originally, I was not planning to watch the Super Bowl because I was scheduled to work um, that day. Um, but by, I don't know, whatever miracle, my coworker texted me saying that she couldn't work her shift on Saturday and she would take my shift on Sunday if I took hers. So I was like, yes, please, because working at a place with a bar and lots of TVs on Super Bowl Sunday is not a thing you want to do. So I was, oh, I'm so glad I'm not working anymore. So I will be watching it, not because I like football, because um, I guess because my boyfriend Drew likes football. And he invited me over, so I'll just be there. I'll probably bring some homework or something. I don't know. Um, and I don't really care who wins. Um, I'm just, I'll just, I'll just be there. I'll just, I'll just go for any, whoever's winning will be who I want. <laughs> okay, sorry for the long video. Um, I don't have a joke. I didn't think of one before this. And I'm too tired to do it right now. So, sorry. Goodbye. See you next Thursday. I hope I'll have a better video next Thursday. Okay, bye.